Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing well. My name is Danny and today we will be checking out the second comeback of the day, which is Everglow's new track called Dun Dun. <laughs> They're actually saying Dun, D-O-N-E, but they decided to go with D-U-N, D-U-N, so why not, why not? I did already see a little bit of the MV because I couldn't wait to see what was going to happen. I did check out the teasers as well and this is actually their title track from their first mini album. Actually they did release previous songs but it was more like digital singles. With their previous title tracks they went on strong. They debuted with um, Boom Boom Chocolat and everyone was like oh shit they're like the new Blackpink or something like that and honestly I don't want to get too much into it <laughs> because it is indeed a very touchy subject but with Adios they just went a step further and honestly it is so freaking freaking cool what they have released so far. The B-sides tend to be a little bit like a second generation girl group, they do cute concepts, badass concepts, they go all in and they show the different sides of their musicianship, their group, I don't know how you say it. They decided to go with the very strong badass persona for their MVs and the whole type of concept so I'm really excited to see this one because I feel like it's going to be the same type of thing. One thing that I must mention before we move on is the fact that my only gripe that I have with this group is the fact that Mia has a lot of everything. It doesn't seem to be very fair with the other girls because she does have the most singing time, like the line distribution tends to be more towards her and not so much, for example, towards Onda or you. I feel like it's a little bit too much like the Suyan and Friends for G Idol or for this one Mia and Friends and I'm sincerely hoping that they do not do the same mistake. The thing is with this group every single member has so much personality and her unique style that they won't be like overshadowed but I feel like because they are focusing so much on one member even though the others won't be overshadowed so easily you sort of tend to notice how only focus on one member it tends to be. So I'm hoping that for this one is going to be a little bit different. I'm sincerely hoping that, for example, Wanda, even though she's not my bias in the group, I'm still hoping that she gets a little bit more time and actual proper lines. But who knows? My bias in this group is EU because she's so freaking cute and she just, the way she is, she like exudes charisma. She's so freaking cool. I thought, let's watch it now. Like so far their MVs are so freaking epic. They know how to, wow. Yeah. She looks stunning. Wow. Ever glow. Ever glow. So much charisma. Wow, she won. Wow. I feel like more and more Aisha tends to be like the main rapper. Wow. This is so freaking badass. Damn it. Okay. This is a whole another level of visuals. Ooh. I wish she really props more than that. Yeah. Oh. Uh, there are still. 
still haven't been like proper lines for on that. You had better run. I feel like every single dancer on YouTube will be dancing to this song. It is so freaking catchy. Okay, she's just flying around. I really like her vocals. <laughs> this is so freaking badass. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I know at the end of the MV, I was a little bit speechless. So I actually forgot to say this is from their newest mini album called Reminiscent. I always have trouble saying that word but I guess I managed to say it so so much to say first of all it is so freaking badass from the visuals of the MV that are so freaking epic the song the choreo their visuals of the girls they're all so mm, so in your face and they just nailed it then when it comes to just the song in itself, like I said, it is very badass indeed. I do really, really, really love Xi'an's vocals. I hoped that she might sing a little bit more than that. I must say, I still have the same gripe with Everglow. That is that Mia has so much spotlight and I feel like, okay, I get it. She is a main vocalist. She has beautiful vocals and she's a main dancer. Amazing. And I know like she's like the all-rounder, she can do everything, but she's part of a group. I wish that perhaps, I don't know, she one might have done some parts of the chorus that she did. And I feel like she did sing most of the track and that she had most of the spotlight. And that I feel a little bit mm, about it. I know that every single time in terms of line distribution, it is the decision of the producer. So it's not the fault of the girls that they sing so much. However, I would have expected to have a little bit of a better share and a better distribution with the lines. We have Eden doing always the same type of sentence. On that, she doesn't really have proper lines. She does only the, like the screaming, you have better run or stuff like that. Aisha and you they do rap quite a lot and it is really really cool i am happy about their line distribution there but i just feel like it is not really necessary for me to do the pre-chorus the chorus the bridge have a solo dance and it feels a little bit too much like Mia and friends leaving that aside I do think that it is so freaking epic so freaking cool what they've done with this new track it is so in your face so strong and powerful in terms of like even the choreo it is so freaking hot hitting so clean cut love it and the visuals of it like just from the very beginning with Eden walking and all of the clear and very open spaces it just looks beautiful she one's outfit she won she I'm really really sorry for pronouncing her name incorrectly but her outfit looks freaking stunning it is so glittery I just freaking love love their outfits the air styles on those pink hair is so freaking cute it is really really cool and i feel like this is a monster rookie group they know what they are doing they are so good at it they have this charisma this thing that you cannot really find every single time with every single group and i did find the same thing with you know and uh, blackpink as well so they have the same aura uh, same with Etsy, for example. So I'm feeling quite hopeful for this new generation. I'm just hoping that they can show 
different sides of them and not just one member but that all of them managed to shine because honestly when you think about all the bigger k-pop girl groups you cannot say that there are only like two or three of the members that are really popular every single one of them has to have their own specific unique traits or stuff like that like when you think about girl generation or 21 you see what they are and what they did and every single time like you don't forget who every single member is i have high hopes for every glow because every single time they manage to surprise us with new amazing tracks so i'm hoping that they continue to do so and they look so freaking fierce fierce that's the word this doom 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 <laughs> it is just so freaking fierce ah okay so yeah guys tell me in the comments down below what did you think about everglow's new release called dun dun i really want to know your opinion in the comments down below if you want me to do an album review for the rest of the three other tracks that are in this mini album you can tell me in the comments as well i will be having my day off on friday so i'll be perhaps filming all of those videos then uh, for the rest of the week, there will be so many new releases. Moonbuild tomorrow, then Luna, then Icon, then Bandit. Did I forget someone? I don't really know, but there are so many that I'm so excited to check it out with you guys. So stick around for more, and I hope you did enjoy this one. So don't forget to share your thoughts. If you have any video recommendations, you can leave me in the comments as well. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!